What's on tap? All right. So every week on Tuesdays, we're going to do this once NFL seasons, uh, well, NFL week ends. We're going to be doing a three Kings, which are our three best quarterbacks, like ranking. It's not going to be like which quarterbacks had the three best weeks. It's going to be which quarterbacks right now are on my hierarchy of the three best teams. It's okay if Patrick Mahomes goes out and throws three picks next week. It's going to be really hard to take him off my three Kings. And Daniel Jones can come out next week and throw 17,000 touchdowns. He's not getting in my three Kings. <laughs> Daniel Jones is not one of my three Kings, no matter what happens. So let's start off with our three Kings, and then we'll go to our three Stooges. Our three Kings, and these are never in particular order. They're just three Kings and three Stooges. My three Kings are Patrick Mahomes, for obvious reasons. It's Patrick Mahomes. He's the best quarterback in the NFL. He's the boogeyman for every single team. Teams want to win. Teams want to see him see him get beat. They ain't going to beat him. That is Patrick Mahomes. And it's just a good segue to number two, Lamar Jackson. There's not many people on the planet who can go to Arrowhead and have the, the ball with a couple seconds left and throw a pass in the end zone. I know he missed a couple of them, but that last pass was on target to Isaiah Likely. Didn't get his feet in bounds, and he leave Arrowhead with a loss. He needs to get over the hump of Patrick Mahomes. There's a reason he was the MVP of the NFL last season. He's one of the only players that can go to Arrowhead and do that. I think if he could just get over the hump, like the Jordan versus the Pistons. I mean, it's Lamar versus the Chiefs. Sometimes no one gets over the hump, ever. A lot of people never got over the Jordan hump. It didn't make them horrible players. Carl Malone was still an all-time great. Charles Barkley was an all-time great. Clyde Drexler was an all-time great. Gary Payton, Sean Kemp, you see my, my jersey behind me. They're great players, too. Could they get over the Jordan hump? John Stockton. They never got over the Jordan hump. Patrick Ewing never got over the Jordan hump. Doesn't mean they're not legends, but they're just not one of the greatest of all time. And that's what Patrick Mahomes is. And my third one, and it went between two players. I'm going to give it to CJ Stroud right now. I think CJ Stroud, um, everything showed that he is probably going to be one of those players at the beginning of every season. I mean, you're going through teams. I mean, all right, Houston Texans, 9-10 wins. Houston Texans is C.J. Stroud healthy, 9-10 wins. He's that good. He's in the upper echelon of quarterbacks. Of course, Josh Allen was probably part of this as well. Like, I, I, he was the fourth one on this. But C.J. Stroud just edges it by this much. C.J. Stroud, to me, is a little bit better. C.J. Stroud's a little more tough. C.J. Stroud is a player that I think can lead NFL franchises and lead NFL teams to 10, 15 wins, 10, 50, 10 11 wins almost each and every single year. And I think C.J. Stroud right now is one of the three kings. So my three kings are Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, and C.J. Stroud. On to my three stooges. Daniel Jones. I mean, Jesus Christ. He's thrown more picks more picks than touchdowns since he signed his little big extension. And he throws pick sixes like he's giving out free candy. Here you go, pick six here, pick six there. I don't know what those jerseys were. They were horrid. But what the hell is Daniel Jones doing? And it, I feel bad for Brian Dable. I don't think Brian Dable's a bad head coach. But we've seen a lot of people attach themselves to uh, attach myself to this quarterback. Boom. I don't care how much they paid him. They need to go to the backup. I think it's Drew Locke right now. Daniel Jones is broken. And he had one good season. He has a beard now. Oh, yay. Nah, Daniel Jones is just not it. All right, Will Levis. Um, I think the Titans probably could have punted the ball over and over and over and over and over again the whole entire game in one. 
but the turnovers, the decision making. I mean, he's fearless. I mean, that, I mean, let's, let's get. I'll give him some credit. He doesn't mind standing out there and making throws and getting hit. He's Will Levis though, and he's just not very good. The Titans are going to be one of the worst teams in the league within that quarterback. And third one, I kept, like it was him or the other guy. And the two people were Bryce Young and Deshaun Watson. I'm giving it to Deshaun Watson this week because not only is he a stooge on the field, he's a stooge off the field. You know, sometimes you can feel bad for people when their career gets derailed. And you can say that, you know, maybe these, who knows about all these allegations of how many of them are real and how many are false. I've always been the type of guy that says, if someone has one allegation on them, like maybe, maybe, maybe I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Two allegations, I kind of raise an eyebrow and say, this is probably true. We're on like 20 something allegations now. It's a sad story, but it's not sad. He, I'm not sad for him. I am sad that his dad passed away. I'm sorry about that. Just three days ago. But Deshaun Watson is in a is just horrible. And so is Bryce Young, by the way. Like I'm hoping one of these quarterbacks, Jones or Levis or, or or Deshaun played good enough so I could put Bryce Young on this. Bryce Young, you are not safe. You are one of the th- four stooges. If there was a four stooges list. Luckily we do a three stooge list here. Three stooges. I cannot believe how bad he is. Bryce Young, I'm talking about. But Deshaun Watson gets out on the list. So once again, my three kings are Mahomes, Jackson, and Stroud. My three stooges are simply Levis, Daniel Jones, and Deshaun Watson. Bryce Young, you're not safe, though.